Greetings, and we are the Greensboro Kwanzaa Collective. This is our eighth Kwanzaa annual Kwanzaa celebration. Can y'all believe that? Wow. Can y'all believe that? I can't believe it. This is awesome. So this year, we are running a campaign, and we need your help. Every year, we bring you an awesome, dynamic, I must say. Yes. Great food, right, Mama J? Absolutely. <laughs> and a, right. <laughs> and a great celebration with African people, African attire, and our love. This year, we are asking you to join us to raise $8 for each of you. $8. And that $8 will help us to get the food that we need, to continue our programming, to continue our Rise of Passage program, the healing wheel that heals women who are suffering from trauma. We have so many things that we do throughout the year. You always ask us, what are we doing throughout the year, right? right? And we're telling you, this is what we do, but we need your help. We cannot do it without your help. Who would you say about the 8th Annual Celebration, Mama Dawn? Whew, I, I am so excited to be celebrating eight years. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight years. And so we're going to have, we have this awesome campaign. It's like the eight for eight campaign, yes. right? So yes. a dollar for each year that the Kwanzaa, the Greensboro Kwanzaa celebration has been rocking and knocking and socking here, <laughs> here in Greensboro. And so we're really excited about that. We bring a citywide Kwanzaa celebration, a seven day citywide Kwanzaa celebration. We're at Bethel AME Church this year for each of the seven days. We're on one location, so you'll be able to find us there all seven days. One location for seven days. One plus seven equals eight. 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 That's how many dollars. That's how many dollars we want each of you to donate. Well, just imagine if you put your eight dollars to the side and you get your cousin, you say, hey, cousin, you put some eight dollars on the side, too. That's $16. You get another cousin, that's 24 Another cousin, that's 32 I can do the math. Another cousin, that's 40 And it adds up, right? right? So those $8 can really help so much. And just to, that's that's Ujima, Yes. right? When we talk about Kwanzaa, that's, that's the, the fifth principle, right? It's Ujima, the fourth principle. It's one of the principles of Kwanzaa. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's, it's Ujima, right? That cooperative economics, supporting one another. And so it's so important that we do that, right? We come together for this great free event, and we can only do it with your support. But it's really not free. See, right. that's, the, that's the thing that we really right. are trying to bring across. It's really not free, friends. Nothing is free. And the most important thing that um, we want to know is that everyone has to put their money where their mouth is. We're always talking about how we don't have enough programming, and we don't have enough cultural events, and we don't have enough... Um, we don't have enough traction to make a difference, but for eight years we've made a difference. And now we're just asking you to do the same in kind. It's just, it's just reciprocity. And eight, the, our, um, $8 is not going to kill you at all. I mean, it's like, you know, I, I just think it's something that is, is doable. It's a doable goal. Even if you just said between now and the end of this month, that's, that's right. a, you know, you just say, okay, I'm going to put aside a dollar each week between now and then, that's still, you know, that's still eight, we got eight weeks between now and then, but you don't need to wait for eight weeks, just send the change. That's right. Send the change. You probably got eight dollars of change in your pocket. Yeah, and your change will change things. 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 Yes. So remember, too, that this is a program that is for us. It's by us. And it should be supported by us. For so long, we, we continue to get funding from outside sources, but we need to be sourcing ourselves. That's we right. live in this world that, you know, I hate to say it, but this nation really doesn't care about black people as, as a whole, and so we need to care about ourselves. We need to invest in our own, and it's just eight dollars. Come on, we're just asking for eight dollars. It's less than the cost of a movie ticket. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That's true. And okay. if you are a vegetarian or a vegan, honey, you know, bye. That's already eight dollars because it costs us more than eight dollars to eat. Yes, so yes, eight dollars is all that we're asking from each one of you. And if only half of the people on Facebook, we have over six hundred people presently liking our page. Mm -hmm. And if all of us gave, that will help with the mentorship. 
the healing room, us able to give scholarships for women who are in need, who are really hurting and need to come to a retreat to heal. It will give us an opportunity to mentor more young people who are in need of a family, support, mentors, you see. And then the Kwanzaa celebration, where we celebrate the rites of passage uh, youth yes. and they cross over and the community supports <clears throat> that. So we ask for your help this time, this year. We really don't want to have to ask Food Lion or, you know, some foundation, Arts Greensboro. We have given our heart, soul, and our family love to you. And so this year, we are asking for your help. Just $8. Every year, we work very hard to write grants and submit uh, different proposals to get that money in. But we looked at our friends and our followers, and we said, we have over 600 people that's liking what we post every day, that's you know, celebrating with us every year for seven nights straight. And we just want to continue that celebration. And in order to do so, we feel that, I mean, $8, you know, $8? Hey, you know, boy, man, woman, child. <laughs> just, just $8. I know we keep saying 8 because we want to get it in your head. We want to get it in, but eight dollars. I mean, really, I mean, is is minuscule. Um, but we know that collectively we can do this, and we can present an awesome, awesome event this year. 2017 is 2017. Wow, 2017, 2017, 2018 Kwanzaa celebration. I'm okay. so looking forward to this. Right. <laughs> it's like think about just just think monetize the Kwanzaa celebration, right? So part of the the idea, the very essence of a Kwanzaa celebration is that it's always a non-paid event, right? That co the community will be welcome in and the community wouldn't have to pay. But imagine if you were paying for the event like a Kwanzaa celebration where you get an hour and a half program that includes drumming and dancing and the keynote speaker, more singing and dancing, you know, powerful words. And then a full meal, not not some cheese and crackers, <laughs> not some cookies and punch, but a full meal. Some of that kick yourself kale salad, some of that, <laughs> some of that hush your mouth cornbread, right? You know, real, real some quality. The lovely lentil stew. The lovely lentil stew. <laughs> you know, the real food for cooked by real people and on your very real plate that goes in your very real stomach. All of that would cost you at least $30 if you were paying yes. for an event mm -hmm. like that, that yes. included a meal, if, if just that. And so to imagine, think of your donation as paying for your ticket to the Kwanzaa celebration or paying for the ticket of someone else, mm -hmm. right? So often I think to myself, I can afford that $8, but somebody else may not. So maybe I say, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put forth 16. I'm gonna pay for myself and my cousin. Right? Or my cousin's cousin. You know what I mean? So we can do that, right? We have with to whom much is given, much, much, is, required. Required. much is required. And so that's and something we good. always have to be mindful of. When I think of Kuumba, for instance, I think of the idea we, we like to think of Kuumba as a creativity principle, right? We gonna dance, I'ma sing. But Kuumba is really about making this world a better place yeah. when you leave it than it was when you inherited it. And we do the we do that through our gifts and through our talent, our knowledge, our wisdom, our abilities to create, our abilities to counsel people or to serve communities and, and teach and, and catch babies and right. right to be, you know, the different careers that we work, that's part of our kuumba. Yes. That's part of the way that we that we make living, right? We make our lives in this world. And so we're able to monetize those livings and it's important for us to give back, right? So think about that. Think of just paying, think of it as paying a ticket for quantum, a cheap little $8 ticket that's less than a movie ticket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be better than any movie you've ever seen. Better. Because when you just the Kwanzaa celebration just get better every year? Every I think year. Yes. 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 So what's your favorite part about it? This, which, what do you think is your favorite part about Kwanzaa every year? I, I have to say my favorite part is just the excitement that my girls get out of, of doing it. Even though it's, it's a lot of work for all of the families that, that are involved. And so we're always like, you know, in the beginning and then the planning stages, I think I like the planning of it. But I really like seeing all the faces that return every night, mm -hmm. night after night, 
year after year and watching the young people just kind of grow and seeing them go off and do things and now my children are going, my children have gone <laughs> off and they're now at school and at various college, university campuses and I'm excited about thinking about them returning this year, you know, to celebrate with us again. So I think my favorite part is just watching the families evolve and watching, you know, um, their ideas um, unfurl right before our eyes. You know? I remember watching you cry your eyeballs out. I had to go get your eyeballs off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and you had cried them out and they rolled across the floor. When the, the sister came and, you know, Mama oh, Jay's yes. a doula, doula extraordinaire. And you had helped to bring that baby into this oh, earth. Yes. Oh. And then the mama came to the Kwanzaa celebration with this baby, who you may have not have seen since yeah. it was a couple of days old. Yeah. And you just cried. And I came and I said, Why well, Mama Jay? And I said, Oh, she got the baby. <laughs> <laughs> she got the yes, baby. Yes. Right? That's part of the beautiful thing. Yeah. Those kinds of magical moments mm -hmm. happen at the Kwanzaa celebration. Mm -hmm. Just stop. I remember going to get your eyeballs. I slid on the Thank tears. Thank you for going to get <laughs> from just being a part of this community and knowing <laughs> that there are people who kind of have a like mind or have some of the same ideas and they want to do positive things. Mm -hmm. And all of those people coming together in one spot yes. is very uh, motivating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My favorite part, <laughs> woo! Um, I really like the, the, the I, I love the drums. You know, mm -hmm. I love the drums. The drums are such an integral part. It just always, you know, the, the drums become synonymous with my heartbeat, and I just feel it, you know, pulsating throughout my entire body. It just makes me feel so close to Mother Africa, you know, and just makes me, it, it just reminds me, and it centers me, and it focuses me, you know, the drum. And it just, it's that, it's that opportunity, those seven days where we just stop and, and think about, all of the things that have happened all year, mm -hmm. and all of the things that we want to happen in the upcoming year. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think that's definitely it. It's the coming together of the drums every day, the dancing, the Living freedom. Dance. You know, it's like we have, we, we're fortunate to have people who are trained, right, in African dance, and people, you know, performers to come and perform. But then, one of the moments I think I love the most mm -hmm. is when the, when the bantama, you know, mm -hmm. when the drummers oh, are playing, yes. And then just everyone is up dancing, and the babies get up uh, and dance. Yeah. And <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 It's so cute. It's a joy. Yeah. What do you say? From two to ninety-two. You yeah. Know, just yes. All ages. It's just that. That has got to be my favorite part. Just that. That joy. Mm -hmm. What about you? Too? Well, I think mine kind of piggybacks on yours when you just said that joy. For me, it's the love, and I'm gonna applaud us for not. Crying yet? Because I know. You're all feeling it. <laughs> and if you've ever been to a Kwanzaa celebration, at least by that last day, you've seen one of us. Yes. Oh. Oh. Just, from, oh. just from the emotion and the love, you know, and, and we're naming spe some of some specific <clears throat> things like drumming or, or food and things, but I feel like what we're all saying is it's the feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me, it's that feeling. Like it's something about when um you know, that drum call happens and the new families are there and the, the returning families are there and it's just so much love. Like, yeah. you forget your, even if you were stressed out five minutes before, <laughs> yeah. like, which a lot of times yeah. we are, you know, we're planning an event, but it's just something just happens the moment yeah. the program begins and I don't even want to call it a program, it's like a, a, a family love fest yeah. you know and it's so much it's like seeing your uncle your cousin your your auntie you know your mama daddy everybody together yeah. and any issues anybody had in that moment all you feel is the love and that's what it feels like to me like one really big happy family reunion yeah. Yeah. family reunion yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> let's see I would like to say that probably my favorite <laughs> Heart is when you don't know the 
this person and they come up to you like, hey, Mama Nia, and you're like, who is this hoppo? And, you just, <laughs> and it's the coolest thing because they're so familiar with you. Mm -hmm. They have have somehow see you, they somehow see you as like the favorite aunt or the mama of the community. And I had one moment and um, it was Mama Moye. She, she just came and she was like, and it, it's probably gonna make now I'm crying. <laughs> she said, she said to me, she said, "You mama Nia, y'all can do that." Like it was just like, who told her I could do all that? But it's from the Kwanzaa celebration mm -hmm. that she sees the kind of love each one of us give, you know. And she's so familiar with Mama J, Mama Dundar, Mama D Mama Tafari, because that's what I call Mama Dawn <laughs> and Mama TP. And she's so familiar with our us and how others in the community feel that they feel a connection to us from giving this love out to them, that they automatically have this sisterhood mm -hmm. thing with us that is so beautiful. And I would say the last day of the Kwanzaa celebration last year, oh. right, was like, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's all I can say. Get away, it was just, just like, it was so yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a tradition that I would like to keep um, <laughs> on the last day of us all wearing white. Mm -hmm. You know, and us bringing forth that beautiful healing energy. Um, it was such a spiritual moment for each one of us getting in tune with ourselves and then the community receiving us um, and whispering in our ears, saying the things that we have done to help them in various different ways. That was the most beautiful thing ever. And all I want to do was give y'all y'all little bags and I know they do. <laughs> Right, this year you get bags, right? So that's all I wanted to do, you know. But to see the love um, that the community felt for us in that moment was so powerful. Mm -hmm. And can I add to that too? Because yes. it, it's like the community, you all respond to us in mm -hmm. such beautiful ways. Like each of us probably has a story mm -hmm. where we're looking crazy and frantic trying to, you know, organize and get things together. And a brother or sister in, in this at the celebration is like, okay, I'll help you set up the chairs or I'll put the tables up. I mean, when I look out and I see so many of you all just rising to the occasion and just helping, you yes. know, just do, like Mama Jay, what can I do in the kitchen? Do you need me to do anything? Can, it's like that, that love. So even though we're saying $8, and we still gonna say eight dollars. <laughs> um, but we feel that we already feel your love and your reciprocity. We already <laughs> and I wanna say this too. I mean, this isn't like come to the door and feel like you gotta pay an eight dollar ticket or anything like that. We're just asking an eight dollar donation. Anytime between now, we're like still in the first week of November right now, mm -hmm. as of filming. Between now and uh Kwanzaa time. So yes. I'm sure there's a link somewhere below or above this video that where you can you. um leave an eight dollar donation. But we or eight times eight. Or eight times eight. eight. That's right. You multiple set of eight. <laughs> <laughs> so but we feel your love and your reciprocity even during the event as well. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate whatever you can donate. Yes. We appreciate the dollar, the 25 cent. Because whatever you put in will help it be fantastic yes. and yes. phenomenal, no yes. matter what. And can help with so much more. So we are the, the Greensboro Kwanzaa Collective. Collective. And we thank you for your attention and your time. Yeah, Don't wait, you. give your eight. <laughs> That's Bye. Right.